The next two questions test your ability to use the head and tail commands to extract items from lists. It will be much easier to use lists in ML if you get used to thinking about lists recursively. The iterative definition of a list is a collection of one or more items or an empty list. The recursive definition of a list is subtly different. A list is an item and the rest of the list or an empty list. Using the recursive definition, the list x in this ML expression is the item 9 and the rest of the list, which is the empty list. Since tail returns the rest of the list, x is the empty list. This question tests your ability to string head and tail commands together to access a particular item within a list. If we consider each option in turn, the head of x is the first item in the list, which is 5. The tail of x is the rest of the list, which is the list containing 1, 6, and 8. The head of that list is 1. The tail of the tail of x is the tail of 1, 6, and 8, which is the list 6 and 8. Finally, starting from the innermost expression, the tail of x is the list 1, 6, and 8. The tail of that list is 6 and 8, and the head of that list is 6. Now let's approach the same question from the opposite direction. We know the answer is 6, and we know we are only using calls to head and tail. Head returns an item, and tail returns a list. Since the final answer is an int, we know the last thing we call has to be head. So if head of something is 6, then that something must be the list 6 and 8. Now how do we get the list 6 and 8? Since we want a list, we have to use tail, which gives us the head of the tail of 1, 6, and 8. Finally, to get the list 1, 6, and 8, we know we need to call tail on another list, which is our original list. Put that all together, and you get the head of the tail of the tail of x.